A new idea is growing across the country. The Behavioral Evaluation and Response Team helps reduce first responder call volumes by responding to nonviolent calls. WFMY News Susanna Jeffries tells us how a triad team is expanding thanks to federal funds. Yes, Winston-Salem's Behavioral Evaluation and Response Team, also known as the BEAR Team, is nearing one year since their first dispatch call. Since then, they've responded to nearly 2,000 calls, and new funding will allow them to expand their team by four members. Victoria Williams is one of the current seven. She spends most of her workday on the streets of Winston-Salem. The counselors take a different approach than law enforcement or first responders. They go out to nonviolent calls like mental health, the domestic and substance abuse cases. I definitely do think that we have a different approach when we come in. It's a little bit softer and we're able to see it from a clinical lens. So when you come in from a clinical lens, you're looking at it from kind of a trauma focused perspective. Like this person has been through something. They're currently experiencing something. How do I get them to tell me what's going on so that I know the next steps to help them? Working 24 seven, the bear team is busy, but each person's workload should get a little lighter. They're getting four more counselors thanks to $700,000 from the federal government. The director explains how this money will help. They can be a little bit more supported in each shift. We can have multiple staff um, work each shift and that way they can rely on each other's expertise and increase the safety and um, the value of each response. So having the four more will make sure that we are really adequately covered and that we're strengthening what type of follow up visits and, and responses that we can do. Greensboro also has a bear team. Theirs is a little older. It was created back in 2020. In May, Winston-Salem's team will celebrate one year of being in business.